in this video i'm going to show you how to convert excel data to an xml data file let's get started so i have the data in my excel this is uh, uh, this is the data that i wanted to convert to um, xml file the first column is the first name then the second one is the last name customer display name purchase here and customer display name letter so this is in excel sx file the standard uh, uh, excel workbook uh, let's try to save as this file as xml data and then see what happens uh, so click on file save as choose a location where you would like to save then in the save as type choose xml data xml data and then you make sure that like you got this extension then click save so it will throw an error call cannot save xml data because the workbook does not contain any xml mappings so let's create mappings uh, xml mappings so go back to the file so this is the data that you want to convert into xml uh, xml file so open in notepad to create a xml mapping then type the following uh, each and every xml we have to create a xml header information the first one the first line contains xml version equal to 1.0 and encoding this is a double quote encoding equal to utf format space question mark then close so this is the this is the header information for xml file xml file will have a root element so you can create called root then the closing element called with the slash let's create one record now so if you, if you use html tags then you are you will be familiar with these uh, tags uh, the first record i want to create has uh, it, it should have the following fields uh, one is the first name so first name and ensure that uh, xml tag should not have the space so if you create like this then it won't work uh, so first name so for example in this case joe then close the tag first name then last name blocks then close the tag then customer display name it can it can be any name uh, but in this case i'm just mapping with uh, exactly the same field so that it will be easy for me to map it uh, first name space last name display name the next one is purchase year so 2019 then close purchase year tag the next one is customer display name letter so i would say customer initial in this case joe first initially j then customer initial right so make sure that there are no typos uh, in the tags so first name then first name last name last name customer display name customer display name purchase year and purchase year customer initial customer initial then this copy this the whole one record then paste paste into the and paste into just below to have a correct mapping it's always recommended to have two two records uh, so fred blocks then fred blocks purchase here in this case for example maybe 2020 then name is yeah so make sure that like um, uh, you have created the two records so this is a root element and the root element is closed 
and this is for this record and this for this record and this for this this for this then file save as make sure that you select all files then choose where do you want to save the file so in this case i am giving xml xml mapping dot xml please do not forget it this is most important in this case then click save so you have created the mapping file now close this file then go back to your excel so here you can see the developer tab if the developer tab is not enabled then what you have to do is go to the file options then choose customize ribbon then tick this box the developer box then click ok so you can see the developer box so click on developer box developer option then click on source button so on the right hand side you can see xml maps so click on xml maps click on add select the file that you just created using um, the xml mapping file navigate to the path so in this case i've stored in this location so i've got some error message called cannot load the specified xml or source a string literal was expected but no opening code character was found this is a line number one let's go and fix that problem now go to the file location where you have saved that file open with notepad or any uh, text editor so in the utf so here i missed the uh, double quotation then save then go back to the excel file again then add the file then you got error message again now this time end tag record does not match with the start customer display name okay so this is very important when you are going to create any records you must ensure that there are no typos so the error i've got for customer display name so customer display name what is the error yes i missed to use a slash here and the same thing applies to the below line then click on slash then save the file again then go back to the excel tagging excel file then go back to the xml xml maps then click on add then choose a mapping file then if there are no errors then you get this uh, message the specified xml source does not refer to a schema excel will create a schema based on the xml source data okay then click okay so based on our record so you got um, uh, root and then record and it got first name last name display name purchase here customer initial let's map them so first name should map with the first name then the last name should map with the last name then customer display name should map with customer display name purchase here drag to here S select the customer initial and then drag here now you have done your mapping now go to the developer tab again click on the developer tab here then choose the export option so choose export option let's say for example this is a customer data customer data underscore xml format I don't need to give the extension name here because this is going to save automatically as xml file then click export once you have done this then close this file and i don't want to save this file the excel file now close this then so you got the data in xml format so right click on the file then edit with notepad or notepad plus plus 
now you can see all the records have been created in uh, in our file so if this is if this is not correct sorry if, if you want to load this file into um, Excel open Excel file again this is an empty Excel file now we will import the XML data so click on develop a tab go to import option previously we have used the export option now this time we are going to use the import option so here that is here in the developer tab then import then choose the file where they were you save your customer data file then click ok then it's asking you where do you want to place the data click ok sorry click ok now you, you got all your data in the uh, in the excel i would like to thank you for watching this video